target has entered the woods. Attempt to locate. Have we got a positive match on him yet? Target is Alex Cosgrove, Class D. Last sighted 18 months ago. Wanted for assault, armed robbery, and inciting civil unrest. Target was last seen northwest of your position. X-ray, Victor. We have lost visual. Over. Get me more eyes out there, people. Flying scouts. Angle left. Twenty degrees. Angling left. Where are you, son of a bitch? We have visual. Cosgrove wanted to get caught. Well, no. Because if you are, I think we're watching different screens back then. I just think it's all a bit convenient, don't you? Him just stepping out into the open for us like that. What of it? Alice, he's a dodger. That's what they do. They dodge us. These people, they're experts at disappearing. Why would he let us catch him after all of this time? There you go again, let us catch him. Why can't you just admit that we're better than him? Give yourself some credit. Surely you can sense that something's not right. All I'm sensing is paranoia, and I'm trying to trace the source of it. Found it. Face it, Jen, we're just that damn good. Besides, if that was him letting himself get caught, dread to think what him trying to escape looks like. I doubt we'd live long enough to see it. Ladies, your hero has returned. Reese, how's the leg? I meant me. It'll be all right. Of course he will, it was just a scratch. He shot him. Yeah. How about a little heads up next time, eh, Jen? I figured you'd have it covered. He got shot. Everyone has, all right? But did no one see how I tackled that guy? Mm -hmm. No, missed that. Yeah, I must have been watching something else. Yeah, Lyndon walked past at that exact moment, so what's the girl to do? <laughs> Lyndon. Hey, I saw it, you big brave idiot. Next time, leave your armour on. You might not be so lucky. No, <laughs> we might, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Anyway, we better go clean up. Cosgrove will be in IV with Carmen in a bit. God, they're not wasting any time, are they? Yeah, Phoenix orders. I don't think anyone wants him round here longer than necessary. Yeah, well, we'll catch you later. Dan, what yep. was in the bag? What bag? Cosgrove's bag. He had a bag on him during the chase. You didn't leave it behind, did you? I, I didn't see a bag. Shit. I'm due an observation in 20 minutes. What am I going to do? It's a tough one. J Jen, you couldn't... <laughs> I'm on it. Oh, thank you so much. You're the best. So I'm told. Interview commencing with Alex Cosgrove, 1637, the 8th of June, 35. Officer Carmen Rogers present, Director Alex Koenig and Officer Daniel Travis observing. So, how are you today, Alex? Do you know why you have been arrested today, Alex? Do you understand why you're here? Loquacious bastard, isn't he? This is going nowhere. I haven't got time for this. 
Do you have anything to say at all today? Not to you. Searching. Reverie. One result found. Would you like me to find directions? Yes. On foot. Your destination is 19 minutes away. This is a public service announcement. Would all Class D citizens please return to their homes for their evening curfew? My name is Sal. How may I help you? Um, yeah, I have a ticket. One moment, please. Changing rooms on the left. Well, there are various levels of therapeutic experience over here. Here you can see a basic session where clients are simply administered a mild tonic, which frees the mind of all worry and makes them perfectly content to stare at pretty colours all night. There are more advanced sessions available too, where clients can engage in a more tailor-made experience with greater sensory stimulation. And what about my session? Brand new. Complete sensory immersion. Our methods are trade secrets, of course. But I can promise you, you're in for a treat. Honoured guests, thank you for coming. I am Marta. In a few moments, you'll leave this world behind. You will embark on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment without limits. The effect might be jarring at first, but don't worry. When it's over, you'll return to this room as if waking from a long sleep. Sweet dreams. Jen, are you 
Hey. Hey. Anyway, you're awake. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Like shit told her brother. <laughs> How did I get here? What happened to me? Well, since you went AWOL last night and didn't return my calls, me being the chivalrous kind of guy that I am, I tried your location, found you in an alley, picked you up, put you in the back seat of the car, brought you home, took off your clothes, and put you to bed. My hero. I know, right? I mean, I was just going to leave you there, but it just didn't seem right. What? You mean you found me in an alleyway? They chucked me out unconscious? Guess they wanted to close. But you're alright, yeah? Yeah. I found a ticket in Alex's bag. Went to check it out. He seemed to have booked some kind of freak out session in some kind of Lucy bar. Reverie. I saw the sign. Some people have a pretty fucked up idea of relaxation. What time is it? 10.15. Jeez, I've got to get to work. No, you're not. You're not going anywhere. I've called in and told them. You're going to stay here and rest. Listen, Jen, I've got to go. They're holding Cosgrove an interview till I get there. I just need to make sure you're okay. Okay. You are okay. Yeah, I'll be fine. You go. Good. I'll see you later. Thanks. Tell me you've got something on Alex Cosgrove. The guy's good. We've had taps, surveillance units, UC agents for months, and he's managed to avoid them all until now. What about phone calls? Have we intercepted any from that area? Nothing. What about next of Kim? Mother and father both deceased. Jen, I wasn't expecting you today. How are you? Better, thank you. How's Cosgrove? Has he said anything more? Not a word. We're getting nowhere, truth be told. Who's that? I know her. Sienna Cosgrove, Alex's sister. You know her? Yeah. Yeah, I saw her. Last night at Reverie. She was in my dream. What? How can that be? I don't know. Maybe I should ask him. You think this will work? I'm not sure. Good afternoon, Alex. My name's Jennifer, and I've come to talk to you about your sister. You've seen her? Yes. When? Last night. And again this morning. This morning? What's she talking about? At Reverie. You found the ticket. What's going on, Alex? Where is she? Why can I see her when I have never met her before? And never even seen her face before? Turn them off. Damn it! Wait. She'll get us answers. She better. She's there. At Reverie. They're using her. She's been missing for two months now. What? They kidnapped her? Why? She's an empath. She can sense other people's emotions. So she feels other people's pain? It's more than that. She absorbs their pain, takes it away from them. I'm starting to see why they'd want her there. I bet a lot of people would pay to have their pain taken off them. And they will. Dozens, hundreds of people all offloading their troubles and anxieties into one person's mind. Could you imagine what that would do to someone? Well, if she's meant to take away pain, then why was mine such a nightmare last night? And why could I sense her? I can only think of one reason. And if that's the case, like me, you'll keep seeing her. It's not a bond that's easily broken. Tell me. You're an empath too. An empath? No, it doesn't make sense. I'm not an empath. I can't sense other people's emotions. Maybe you're just a little bit empath, like a 
10%. Well, you think I would have known by now, wouldn't you? I mean, how could I be an empath and not realise it? Beats me. If I find out you're snooping inside of my head without telling me. Oh, sweetie, there's precious little interest up there anyway. Down there, on the other hand. <laughs> Wait here. Keep a lookout. You sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. She's entered the stairwell. Move in. I think this should be our next move. I think you're right, because otherwise we're getting nowhere. Oh shit! <laughs> such a slimy, loathsome little cretin. And don't bring a fucking stick to a gunfight. On your knees. Bind your wrists. I won't kill you, just like I didn't kill the other freak. I know you two are gifted. You make a lot of people very happy. But we don't want you running away now, do we? where it was reported that she had at least six hostages over the last 12 months. 
Her body was found in a basement room of the venue by security officer Jennifer Banks with a single gunshot wound to the chest. Miss Banks stated she was responding to an anonymous tip when she discovered the body and the identity of the shooter remains a mystery. Thank you for everything. I'm so sorry about your brother. So am I. Where will you go now? Oh, just out there, away from all the prying eyes. You should try it sometime. Mm. You don't know how much it meant to me. Since we connected, you gave me hope. I don't know, maybe I was just imagining things. No, I felt it too. Sent you later. Interview commencing with Zinc Aspel, due the 10th, 35. <laughs> Jenna Thea Banks, Poseidon. <laughs> you have no idea, do you? <laughs> no idea of what? You see, you're totally lost. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you haven't figured it out, have you? You're still there. <laughs> Where? You're still at Reverie. You never left. <laughs> you never left.